Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on Take Action News. A special hello to everybody who's listening up and down our WEAC radio syndicated stations in Chicago, Oklahoma, Ohio. Everybody who's listening to us on YouTube. What a great show we have coming up. Just a few minutes, we're going to talk about a special Take Action perspective on what happened this week and uh, why Take Action was so crucial in the apprehension of those two terrorists who bombed the Boston Marathon. Also, in a second hour, Executive Producer Daniel Marin's with a terrific analysis of a new report that has been undermined about the significance of austerity. It turns out that, that a lot of folks have gotten this wrong through the years. And in our third hour, Jackie Robinson, it's been 66 years since he broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. We're going to have my own special review of the movie 42, which just came out, and also fill in some gaps about the crucial role that the city of Montreal, Canada played uh, in breaking Major League Baseball's color barrier because of the experience that the Canadians gave to Jackie Robinson. But uh, we're going to start, first of all, with what happened last night in Watertown, Massachusetts. By now, all of you are aware that the, uh, that, uh, that the, the, the situation is done in Massachusetts. The two people who were responsible or allegedly responsible for the bombings of the Boston Marathon, uh, that uh, one is dead, the other was, uh, was apprehended last night. Uh, in my view... And again, keep in mind, four people were killed uh, over the course of this week, three at the Boston Marathon, one a police officer on Thursday night who was essentially assassinated by these two suspects, more than 160 people wounded. Uh, to me, there was a crucial point of, in which the public was engaged. And in, in any sort of effort where you're taking action, whether it's to influence politics or whether it's to catch criminal suspects, you have to be able to engage people with some leadership. And I thought a crucial moment this week came when President Obama went to Boston, went to Boston on Thursday, and the president spoke to the victims and talked about the solidarity that our nation has with them. Obviously, tonight there are still many unanswered questions. Among them, uh, why did young men who grew up and studied here as part of our communities and our country resort to such violence? How did they plan and carry out these attacks? And did they receive any help? The families of those killed so senselessly deserve answers. The wounded, some of whom now have to learn how to stand and walk and, and live again, deserve answers. The president said just a couple of days earlier in Boston, and that of course was from the White House last night, the president said, your city is with you, your country is with you as you learn to stand and yes, run again. Of that, I have no doubt you will run Again, if we've got uh, the son of President Obama talking about the, the significance of uh, next year's marathon, I also want to run that because if there was a moment this week in which it really felt like the country and the city of Boston was turning a corner and that the noose was tightening on these two suspects is when the president looked forward and talked about next year's Boston marathon. Let's run that. Your commonwealth is with you. Your country is with you. We will all be with you as you learn to stand and walk and yes run again of that i have no doubt you will run again and then the next, just in the next breath the president talked about next year that boston will not cower here on the third monday in april the world will return to this great american city to run harder than ever and to cheer even louder for the 118th boston marathon amazing speech by President Obama. There was the leadership from the president. And then the other component of successfully taking action is engaging people around you. And the FBI did that. The FBI did that on Wednesday when they, I'm sorry, on Thursday, uh, when they released uh, some video uh, and the FBI asked the public to help identify and track down the two that they believe was responsible. Here's the FBI agent in charge. After a very detailed analysis of photo, video, and other evidence, we are releasing photos of these two suspects. They are identified as suspect one and suspect two. They appear to be associated. Suspect one is wearing a dark hat. Suspect two is wearing a white hat. Just hours after that, the suspects uh, went up to a police officer at MIT, apparently just uh, shot him when he was uh, looking the other way, didn't realize that people were coming up on him. Then they carjacked a Mercedes. Then they led police on this sort of wild chase Thursday night. They ended up in Watertown, Massachusetts, with one of the suspects dead. Uh, the remaining one was able to flee into Watertown for about uh, 27 hours before he was discovered uh, underneath the tarp of a boat. 